Hey, what's up, guys? So we're going to cover a lot of information here. So these things have been posted before, and now we're just kind of putting pieces together of the puzzle to see what may be in the future for our version of Arcage 2.5. We do know a lot of things are changing. This right here is the first big piece of the puzzle. Tier 7 Obsidian Armor. So you can see here we've touched on this. These are the images for Tier 7 Obsidian Armor. They're coming soon to Korea. These will be in North America eventually. Uh, we're about probably 6 months or so behind Korea right now. You can see they look pretty cool. You have to combine this news with something else though here. So we'll take a look at the changes that happen to the crafting and the ingredients and such in 2.5. And so here is a great rundown of what's changing skill-wise in 2.5 by Buttery, or Butt Reynolds. And great, great information here. I haven't touched on this yet, but you can see this down below in the link. So a lot of skills are changing. We are not focusing on skill changes in this video at all. So we're gonna skim over this and very slyly he put a bonus sneak peek at crafting changes and this is what we're looking at this is the most important thing right here so we take a look he's got delph volcano bow so you can actually craft a delph volcano bow just with wisps in korea in 2.5 they allowed you to take 168 whips and create a automatically upgradable delph volcano bow or any of the delf weapons slash armors and then have an upgradable ionod you know tier item if you get that pattern so you can see wisps 168 wisps that's a quite a bit of wisps it's very very expensive so most people aren't necessarily going to do that but still it's it's a possibility it's there the ability to automatically craft delf weapons with wisp is a huge thing that could potentially increase the wisp prices dramatically uh, but again on our servers you can buy delf upgradable weapons and armors for fairly cheap right now so it's not going to have that much of an impact but wait there's more this is the new crafting recipe for ionod weapons and armor so this is an ionod armor piece right here i believe we're told um, and you can see it takes 700 wisps Oh no, this is an Ionod weapon actually. So I'm not sure exactly which weapon it is. Uh, I believe they said it was a scepter or a staff. But you can see, you can craft an Ionod weapon now with wisps. And so this is a huge, huge change to the system. Currently, the only way to craft Ionod weapons is to, you know, use five salvaged Ionod weapons and combine them again to reroll into a new Ionod weapon. Now you can straight craft with 700 wisps. And then you still need one of the designs. But people also pointed out that why in the world would you do that? If you're going to do that, you can just go ahead and craft the Delph upgradable weapon at 168 wisp or so. And then kind of re-roll, do that five times. And then you can, you're pretty much going to get what you want. Uh, the only downside is it will take five of the upgradable scraps. But still... I don't know, most people probably won't be doing this kind of just straight re-rolling or crafting all the way up to an Inod. But it's very, very interesting. Then we go into the armors phase. The fact that they took out the salvaged Inod pieces here leads me to believe that they're going to be able to break these guys, the Inod weapons and armors, down into wisps. So when you look at that, the wisp breakdown is pretty significant. So this is a weapon right here. So 700. At Delphinad status, we need five Delphinad weapons to kind of upgrade and to reroll. So here we are rerolling. And you can see to make a Delphinad club right now, a great club or any Delphinad weapons, we actually need 180 wisps. So going back with the other one, the old, the new wisp value, they've decreased the wisp that you need to make a Delphinad, and then they've also made it that as a guaranteed upgrade to Ionod status when you, you use the wisp. So you use 168 wisp in 2.5, and you're guaranteed to get the upgradable Delphinad uh, weapon or armor. Currently, the Ionad, you require five sealed Ionad you know, great clubs or whatever you're disenchanting. 
they've changed that again to wisps, meaning that when you break this down, you should get wisp now instead of these salvaged ionized stuff. When you get wisps, when you look at the breakdown of what you get for wisps, so this is the current breakdown for wisp right here. So you get one wisp for illustrious weapons, two wisp for magnificent weapons, six wisp for ephiron weapons, and 30 wisp for delphinad weapons. It currently takes 180 wisps to make a delphinad weapon to re to re-roll so six of those when we see this image over here if we're going in the same token it takes six pops possibly five because if we look in the game right now it takes five of the ion odd weapons to re-roll so if we break that down that means each one of the ion odd weapons should give us 140 wisps breaking it down if they keep the same conversion rate or if they go a little bit different, it should be around like 120, 100 and something like that. So meaning an ionod weapon is going to be worth around four or five times more in wisp value than a delphinad weapon currently is. Again, you can see here, so the delphinad gives you 30 wisp right now for a weapon. And if we times that by four or five, that's going to give us the approximate uh, ionod wisp value. So looking at that, most of these weapon wisps, they run around 150 to like 190 gold. If you get a hundred and we'll say 120 of them, we'll just, we'll just say a hundred. If you get a hundred of these wisps for breaking down an ionod weapon, you're looking at 15,000 gold approximately at the low value, potentially up to 20,000 gold for the ionod weapon in the higher range. That's an insane amount of gold right there. Insane amount of gold. So the Delphinads, again, only give 30. As you can see, the progression system goes way up. So this is a five times. So I would expect probably a five times for the Ionod. But even if we only get four times, even if it's only 100 or 120, that's still, that's meaning that the Ionod weapons are going to be valued at just in wisps around 15,000 gold. So meaning if you have a Delphinad weapon or armor right now, do not sell it. Keep those guys and wait for the upgrades and then, you know, get that that design that you need, the ionod pattern and then upgrade and then break it down into wisps. So if this works out like that, if you get over 100 weapon wisps for breaking down an ionod weapon, that is, again, over 15,000 gold at the current Wisp value. And that's on the low end, all the way up to potentially like twenty or 25,000 gold for those, uh, you know, those Wisp, just by breaking it down and selling the Wisp. Now, the hard part is, is getting the design. The Ionon design is very, very rare. Well, in Korea, it's not that rare because it's in the Merit Badge shop. And it's a lot more common. It's easier to get. They're going to change the system in December, supposedly, to making it a lot more easier to get a lot, uh, you know, obtainable. And they don't want to see it as there's none on the auction house, nothing like that. They're also trying to push gear progression further. So I believe that the Ionod designs are going to become a lot more common. They're not going to cost ten to 15,000 gold. Maybe the first week or so they'll still cost that much. But as the prices decrease... That's going to make a huge profit margin because I know currently you can buy Delphinad upgradable weapons and armors for around like four or five thousand gold. And if you can get 15 to 25,000 gold by upgrading it, that's a huge, massive profit. That's like a 10 to 15,000 gold profit. Even if you buy the Ionod pattern for like 5,000 gold, you're looking at like 10 to 15,000 gold in profit. And this this holds true for the armors as well. So the armors are the same type of thing, the same kind of pattern of an upgrade here with the wisps. So sadly, there's no chart out there that I could find that has the armor wisp values for them. Uh, but personally, I know that the armor, the plate piece gives 120 wisps, which is exactly the same as in the weapon values. If you were to you know use five of them, to make a Delphinad weapon. So with that token being said, five of them 
same thing, same kind of system. And now we look at some of the information that came out about 2.5 and the Wisps. And the change is that you can craft a straight Ionod armor chest piece for 2,800 Wisps. So here it is right here. Thanks to Strange for Jur388. So 2,800 Wisp can craft you the chest piece straight Ionod with the design. Again, 700 Wisp for the weapon. If we break that down, divide it by 5, that means the chest piece should provide us 560 Wisp for in disenchanting an Ionod chest piece armor. Uh, at current prices of Wisp, that's 30 G or so, you know, 30 to 35 G times 560. Once again, you're looking at nearly, you know, that's 16,800 gold. So you're looking anywhere between 15 and 25,000 gold for an Ionod armor piece, a chest piece being disenchanted and broken down. And again, you can buy those currently for right around 4,000, 5,000 gold on Morpheus slash Rangora. On the legacy servers, I'm not so sure, but I'm sure it's probably pretty close to the current wisp values out there so again if you can buy these for the current wisp values this is what i think you should be investing in for massive gains this is potentially going to be again a 10 to 15 thousand profit for every delphinad upgradable weapon or armor that you have uh, if they are the high-end ones and if you buy them for the current like wisp value prices this is insane. If it works out like this, if you can uh, break down the Ionod pieces into Wisps, the money value is going to be just astronomical. And again, that's a ten to 15,000 gold profit if you buy the design, the Ionod design that you need for f like 5,000 gold. So that's just insane right there, guys. Uh, take the gamble. Definitely take the gamble on this. If you have any Delphinod upgradable things, I do not recommend selling them right now. I recommend holding off to them at least until we see what happens in January with 2.5 coming into Arc Age. You could potentially even uh, get this value leading up there. So if, if you start to noticing a huge trend and people start to pay like 10,000, 15,000 for the Ionod upgradable or the Delphinod upgradable weapon slash armors, maybe go ahead, take that. Take that gamble right there and then sell it so that you can get your money early because you never know. Maybe they don't allow us to break this down into Wisp, but I have a sinking feeling that they will because not only do these designs take the Wisp, the Ionide designs, but the Tier 7 Obsidian weapons and armors are almost guaranteed to take the Wisps. Every Obsidian weapon and armor takes Wisps to make and going through to Tier 7, I really don't think that they're going to take out a key ingredient uh, like the Wisp to make a Tier 7 Obsidian weapon and armor. So as all the pieces of the puzzle fall together, I think this is the best value, the best investment that you could potentially have in Arc Age right now. Uh, you waiting two months to make three or four times your money, and this is a big money maker right here. Buy these things at four or 5,000 gold. Uh, that's my recommendation. Stockpile this weight, give it a shot, and in January, you should be just like in the money if these guys break down into wisps.